A disabled World War II veteran has now been informed he owes thousands of dollars for medical treatment he thought the VA covered. Yeah, David Olmsted, a veteran of the Pacific War, was hospitalized several times last year. Only a few of his medical bills were actually paid by the VA. So he called WATE 6 on your side investigator Don Dare to find out more. Don. Well, the VA has told us a follow-up of his case is underway. In other words, they're working on it. We discovered veterans can often be on the hook for emergency medical care and doctor visits at non-VA facilities if certain guidelines are not followed. The amount the VA can pay depends if the veteran has health insurance according to regulations. Also, once an emergency need has been met, either the vet or someone else should contact the VA within 72 hours. Well, tonight a Navy veteran wonders where he went wrong. At age 94, David Olmsted is a little unsteady on a bum knee, but he was on a mission at his home in late March. Does he want a bite of water? Huh? A little bite? Yeah. He tenderly cares for Essie, his companion. Bedridden, she suffers from Parkinson's disease. Long retired, now living in Madisonville, David is a World War II veteran. He served on the USS Biloxi, a light cruiser that saw three years of active duty in the Pacific. 75 years ago, Mr. Olmsted banged up his knee during a Japanese bombing attack. From that injury and other ailments, he says the VA lists him as 100% disabled. He says in the past, his medical bills were all paid on time. Yet for the last three months, he's been bothered by notices of unpaid medical payments, the outstanding invoices from individual doctors, hospital charges, and ambulance services following several trips to two different emergency rooms last year. The total amounting to nearly $16,000. Well, they told me you don't need no pre-approval on emergency. In June 2018, David was rushed by ambulance to Blunt Memorial Hospital, where he was treated for a heart attack. Unconscious for several hours, disoriented for several days, Mr. Olmsted was told he should have contacted the VA about the emergency. He uses the Veterans Choice Insurance Program for treatment. I didn't call him and tell him that I was going to be in the hospital. Now, if I'm laying in the ambulance, how am I going to call him? I'm laying in the hospital bed, there ain't a phone in there, how am I going to call him? In the winter of 2018, he was rushed to the ER at the hospital in Sweetwater. He's received an invoice from that visit. It says his VA insurance is not paying. They told me from three water has been rejected. That you're responsible for this bill? It says up here, responsible party, David Olmsted. Yeah, that's what it says. I thought the insurance was responsible. Beginning in February, David said he started calling the VA to track the status of the claims. So you've been on the phone with them quite a lot? Yeah, quite a lot. Four or five hours. And they don't do nothing for you. Without a computer at home, Mr. Olmsted communicates only by phone. They ask you a bunch of questions and transfer you to another number. And you never get any answers. You never get any answers. Since we last talked, you've received more... More bills from Blount? We returned in mid-April. This time, Mr. Olmsted received notice from the Blunt Physicians Group. It's an outstanding bill from last September. He said blood thinner medication was making him sick. On September 20th, he went to Chota Family Care in Madisonville after feeling weak and dizzy. The doctor looked at me and she says, you've got to go to the hospital. So once again, he was taken to Blunt Memorial Hospital. This was an emergency and they say here that you didn't give them... Advance notice. Advance notice. And the people at uh, Veterans Choice have told me in an emergency, you don't need to call us. So I, I didn't do nothing wrong. A month ago, we contacted the Veterans Administration explaining what was going on with Mr. Olmsted. We were told they will reach out to him. Now, collection agencies are after him. By giving them all that information there, yes. who, who to get a hold of. On our third visit, April 25th, David received an ominous letter from a debt collector for a $1,600 doctor's bill filed in October of last year. They're taking it to collection here. Yeah, collection agency. You like to pay your bills on time. I like to pay them the day, day I get the check, the day I get the bill. With collectors now hounding him, this World War II vet is worried. My goodness. You just want this settled. Yeah. Now, the hospitals mentioned in this story have done nothing wrong. They were following procedure as they knew it at the time. Some of the major hospital bills have been paid. 
but the VA medical process is very complicated. So on behalf of Mr. Olmstead, we contacted 3rd District Congressman Chuck Fleischman's office. A spokesperson told us today the congressman has made an inquiry with the Veterans Administration. And Kristen and Bo, you know when you're 94 years old and you live alone and things are so complicated, especially with the VA in this case, sure. you need some assistance. Good news for a World War II disabled veteran who had a mountain of bills he thought the VA covered. This story touched a lot of us here. Now, the Veterans Administration contacted the 94-year-old, telling him that his care will be paid. The situation was first reported two weeks ago by WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare. He's here now with a follow-up to this story. Don, so happy there's good news. Yeah, Mr. Olmstead is very pleased. He said a big load has been lifted from his shoulders. You know, children of the Depression area learned early as their parents taught them that lingering debt was a dangerous enemy. When World War II veteran David Olmsted started receiving medical bills in February and the debt mounted, he became alarmed and tried to resolve the issue through phone calls to the Veterans Administration. When that failed, he called us. So we got in touch with the VA. In Madisonville, World War II veteran David Olmsted is grateful that the Veterans Administration is finally paying his medical providers after months of frustration. Since February, he's accumulated more than half a dozen bills, more than $15,000 from individual doctors, hospital charges, and ambulance services following several trips to two different emergency rooms last year. And all, every week I get a bill. So I've been mailing them back to them, tell them the bill of VA. In late March, Mr. Olmsted, a 100% disabled veteran, told us he thought the VA would pay for an ambulance trip and emergency care at Blunt Memorial Hospital last summer, for another emergency trip and subsequent care at the hospital in Sweetwater last December. He was told he didn't have pre-approval, that he should have contacted the VA within hours after being admitted. But David said he was disoriented and sedated at the time. He's insured through the Veterans Choice Program. They told me from Sweetwater it had been rejected. That you're responsible for this bill? It says up here, responsible party, David Olmsted. Yeah, that's what it says. I thought the insurance was responsible. Mr. Olmsted said he started calling the VA to track the status of the claims back in February. So you've been on the phone with them quite a lot? Four or five hours, and they don't do nothing for you. In early April, we contacted the VA and forwarded Mr. Olmsted's invoices, explaining he needed assistance. But in mid-April, David received notice from a debt collector for a doctor bill filed more than half a year ago. They're taking it to collection here. Yeah, collection agency. You like to pay your bills on time. I like to pay them the day, day I get the check, the day I get the bill. Just recently, David received two letters, one from his congressman, Chuck Fleischman, that he's made an inquiry to the VA. A letter from the representative of the VA. The second letter was from the Veterans Administration at Mountain Home in Johnson City. The bills he's been getting from various medical providers are either being processed or will be submitted for payment soon. It looks like you're off the hook for a lot of money. Yeah, I'm very thankful. It's amazing. You paid your debt. I paid my debt dearly. Yeah. Seen several men die that shouldn't have died, too. Unbelievable. In World War II, Mr. Olmsted served aboard the USS Biloxi, a light cruiser that saw three years of active duty in the Pacific. He was injured during one of the battles. His struggle now with the VA is over. Every week, you know, you get a two or three bills, so it's kind of rough. Now you won't have to worry about it. Now I won't have to worry about it. Yet. That's great. Now at the Veterans Administration, Mr. Olmsted's bills were sent to the Office of Community Care. The OCC went to work reviewing the claims. Mr. Olmsted also said he was called by the VA, assuring him the process to make payments in his favor is being worked out. And Kristen and Bo, as you could tell in the story, he was very, very grateful. Oh, no doubt about it. And we, of course, we want to thank him for everything he's done for All us. All of his service. Exactly.